Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to talk to you about mixing up your own unique fragrance. Uh, this is a new year and I don't do New Year's resolutions, but however, I do make up an oil or some fragrance that I start out the new year with. So what you'll need are some pieces of paper or strips that you've cut up. It can be lined or unlined, it doesn't matter. You need a pen. You'll need uh, some type of vial or container to put your mixture in. You need, of course, droppers. These are the better droppers. They're glass, so if you drop them, they will break. These are plastic, and you can get them on the market. They're kind of um, popular now. The only problem is when you squeeze it, this back splits, so just wrap some tape on it. And I found that masking tape works best. And then some type of um, fragrances, which they keep better in the amber or the blue containers. I've also seen some that are green. The glass holds the fragrance much better than uh, plastic does. But um, I pick them up sometimes if I uh, just need a small amount, I pick them up from a vendor, street vendor and they come in these different type containers so I just pick up whichever one that they have you will also need some tape some type of tape and I use um, address labels these are really really small address labels they're really tiny ones you get like uh, I think like 2000 they're inkjet labels and they will work just fine so I'll set that one over there because I'll tell you how to use that later so I will tell you now excuse the handwriting and I'll just explain how I mix mine up what you want to do is adapt a not the ratio 3 to 1 ratio but a 3 excuse me two one that's how you're going to mix it and what you'll do is what I do is I take these little strips and I decide which fragrance I want to use get that out of the way I decide which fragrance I want to use and then I write it on here I mean so I'll have three fragrances on here and that way it helps you to keep track of what you're doing and I generally use no more than three fragrances and so I'm trying to think what else I would actually mix with this sometimes I can pick up um, uh, what do you call it a musk but different people don't uh, carry the musk like they used to so I may use an essential um, excuse me, a sacred, one of the sacred fragrances like sandalwood. And what you do then is whichever one you have at the very top, which you can't see that now, the top fragrance, you'll put three drops on here. That second fragrance, you'll put two drops on here. And the last fragrance, you add one drop. And then set it aside and let it air out and then come back and just smell it wave it around under your nose and smell it and see if that is the mixture that you like if not then try another mi mixture but you'll have it labeled on here which mixture after you do a few mix um, mixtures it gets a little confusing and you won't be able to tell what you had on here so by listing the fragrance on here in order of the three two and one you'll know what this mixture was set them all to the side and then you come back to them a little bit later so keep that in mind once you decide on the fragrance that you want you write it on one of the little small address labels you write it on that small address label and then you wrap it around the bottle not too close to the top generally close to the bottom and the reason being is when you cap and uncap it, sometimes the oil runs down on the top. 
and it will mess that up. You label it and then you take a strip of tape and then you come around that label. Allowing it to offer and then rub that on pretty good so that allows an extra layer of protection for that label. It's really hard um, to come back to a fragrance that you really like and don't remember what it was. So you label it here. I even uh, go so much as to write the date on here. And so in my notes, of course, in my notes, I'll have that fragrance that I mixed up. So keep that in mind. And some fragrances, since this is a new year, you want to attract things to you. When you're mixing up your fragrances, keep in mind what you're mixing them up for and stay positive while you're mixing the fragrance. Once you mix the fragrance completely, set it in the sun for 20, uh, 12 hours, however long, just one or two days, it doesn't matter. Set it in the sun and then allow the moonlight to um, cast its light on it also. So you're giving it sunlight and moonlight as a way of charging it with the energy. So some of the, um, excuse me, I should have told you. And once you mix up your fragrances, you decide how much your fragrance you like. What you're going to do is then on a scratch piece of paper or in your notebook, write down how many drops. So on one for that top fragrance, I have, I actually have two uh, sacred fragrances on here. If I decide that one fragrance that I want more of, which is a floral fragrance, honeysuckle. Say I want honeysuckle, I write honeysuckle up here. And then I'll put maybe nine drops. I always try to make it divisible by three or two or whatever. I have honeysuckle there. And then my next fragrance, I'm going to add sandalwood. If I put nine of this, I may come back in and go with maybe six. That's almost half, five to six of the sandalwood. So I try to go either two parts, three parts, two parts, or one part. And then if I do another fragrance, I will put three in there. And that's almost a three, a, this would be divisible. These numbers are divisible by the three. So for this one, I only had three, that's one part. Sound of wood would be two parts because I doubled that to two. And then I tripled it and put the honeysuckle in there. This fragrance that you use for the three is the one that you want your fragrance to smell most like. So I want the floral scent to come through more than I want the sandalwood or the musk. I really have them there to taper off the honeysuckle. So the three is the one that you have the most of, and you want that to be the fragrance that you want to smell like. But some fragrances have to be toned down, and so you would tone them down with some of these other fragrances. And that's just a, a sample. Once I put these drops in there, I mix it up like this. You can shake it and mix it. And then you will add your, what is called a carrier oil or your base oil, because essential oils are really, 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 really strong. And they may um, irritate your skin. So coming off of, if this is a bottle, this is the bottle this bottle that I'm going to put my fragrances in. Once I put my drops in here, and that may be nine, and then you see, so that may be the honeysuckle because I added more of it, and then that's the sandalwood, and that's the musk. Then I would add up to here in a carrier oil. And the reason being is because I don't want the essential oils to irritate my skin. There are some other oils that you can use. I'll, I'll give you the names of the oils that you can use. But the carrier oil is going to carry the fragrance for you. 
and in sometimes sometimes tone down the fragrance also so that's what you want your base oils or your carrier oils that you can use I'll fold this so you can keep this in mind you have more carrier oil in in your mixture than anything else your carrier oils uh, some people like to use olive oil and uh, coconut oil coconut oil may add a little fragrance to that also I generally use mineral oil you can also use um, grapeseed oil and the reason I use the mineral oil is because it doesn't go rancid as quickly as the other oils olive oil a lot of times it will go rancid and usually now it may go rancid after about a year or so so if you mix up a really small amount it won't matter but if you mix up a large amount then it will matter uh, because you want to attract some things to you use the floral scents almost any scent that's floral and that's a flower and the popular ones are rose honeysuckle and jasmine they're very strong very very strong so you don't need a whole lot of them but you can tone these down with some vanilla some people like the scent of it I don't do very well with vanilla uh, that's in a lot of fragrances nowadays um, but these attract and they, they attract good fortune so that's why I'm naming these fragrances for you to use um, the peppermint is mm, should I say I don't think that's spelled correctly uh, peppermint is uplifting and so you can use that as a this is January so as a new year fragrance you can use that also um, and some people use orange they like to have orange but if you use orange and you use the peppermint make that the fragrance that you use uh, for a one make those your one fragrances these rose these floral scents make that your three fragrance vanilla is in some of everything but you want a small amount of it so it's a hint you just need that hint um, also the sacred fragrances that work really well for mixing these up is the sandalwood that's kind of it's really a soft fragrance very very soft and it goes with a lot of stuff so that's like my number one fragrance that I will use but try the different combinations because you never know what you might like uh, I also like to use the myrrh and then the nag champa there are other fragrances that people like to use but if you use it it only use a, a hint patchouli I do put at times I do I may do a lot of the uh, patchouli in my um, fragrances but uh, patchouli tends to be extremely woody uh, smoky kind of wood woody flavor or musky it's really almost a manly type fragrance so if you use a small amount unless you're a male unless you want it to smell like that I use a small hint of it because it can overpower any fragrance that you add it with um, so that's great also you can use a uh, what do you call it um, you can use um, some of the fruits fruits work really well uh, but if you use the fruit I would say mix it um, and that would mean you would end up having more than just one of the fruit flavors like uh, for instance if you use some strawberry and some orange I would not use orange and lemon so you can use the lemon but these the orange and the lemon t tend to have a bite so but they mix really well if you if you add the vanilla with it so create like a fruit blend of um, these you can also use peach but peach 
if you use too much peach, it'll smell like medicine. But if you add it together and create like a fruit salad kind of thing, it tends to uh, smell much better that way. Also, you may want to try a couple of the floral scents together. You may want to mix a little rose with some honeysuckle. But just make sure you use those as um, your three. Uh, these fruit flavors you can use as a number two. Try that in different combinations and see how you like it. Okay? And that's a great fragrance to use for this new year to help attract good fortune and good vibrations to you. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.